All right, give you an idea of what the camp site looks like, if you want to even call it a camp site, just a day spot. Like I said, we got the fire started. Uh, there's a lot of dead trees around here, made it quite simple to gather firewood. It was up off the ground. Uh, looked overhead, there's no deadfalls, widow makers, where I set up. Uh, I didn't bring my states with me today, uh, either ones. There's too much snow as it is. So what you'll see is how I used the snow to my advantage today. So we'll go behind the tarp here. Just simple. Didn't do anything fancy. Just flapped it at the end and uh, kicked some snow on top. Just enough to put some weight down. Uh, I'm going to show the video as much as I can. I had a little bit of a hassle getting this tarp up, I'll be honest. Uh, it was due to the fact that uh, I didn't. I just got enough space between the trees. There was just not enough room there for me to tighten it up as well. I had tried moving uh, my uh, carabiners here, there, and everywhere, but uh, I normally don't set up my tarp this way. I normally do it in an A-frame. I wanted to have a windbreak today, so that's the reason I have it up as I have it now. So, but uh, show you a little bit of the location I'm in. Like I said, we're just up over this uh, ridge uh, bench here. Uh, there's a quad trail down below me, but no one's using it because they can't do very well in this weather. Uh, don't think too many people around here have snowmobiles, so which is a good thing. It keeps uh, the area a little bit uh, better for me to screw around this time of year. It's one nice thing about coming in the winter, less people. So, but uh, that's my campsite, day, my day spot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, since my last video, we've managed to get another. 10 inches of snow on top of the 17 I already had, so 27 inches, and they're calling for additional 1 to 3 tomorrow, so I am looking forward to spring, though, I'll tell you that much. Uh, we didn't really bring any of the new gear with me, with the exception of my Snow Peak Titanium Mud, which you'll see me use here after a bit once we get the uh, coffee going, uh, but uh, I'll be doing another video probably the end of the week in regards to uh, then and now and a little bit more depth video on my new light as well as uh, oh, the well I might as well hold off on the ULA review until I get to use it uh, but I might show how it's set, set up a little better so all right that's enough all right fire's doing real good now so Shouldn't be much longer until the snow melts. I'll take a look here while I'm talking. Uh, while we're talking reviews, really haven't had a chance really do a major review yet on my Wetterlings. Uh, yeah, it's melted. All I gotta do now is let them go boil. Warm. Uh, I'm just gonna have coffee. I brought some raw man with me, but my wife's having a Valentine's Day dinner for us and the in-laws, so I'll save my stomach for that. So. Uh, but so far it seems to be doing all right. I can't give an honest opinion as of yet until I get a chance to have a little bit more solid background to split my wood on uh, and such. Uh, cutting like tr tree, uh, I think the word's tree when you're just ne normally cutting down the, uh, the tree or something. I don't know if, if it's sharp enough yet. I have uh, put it back to a convent's bride under a uh, convent's grind per uh, uh, is from Bindle Stitch uh, YouTube channel and uh, it feels sharp but like I was told by Ben from Ben's Backwood the Wetterling's more designed for a chopping than it is for a uh, fa falling uh, axe that's the word I'm thinking of falling so uh, but uh, I'd like to have some a stump or something I can really have some force behind it to see how well it's going to chop because everything right today and what I've used so far the ground's real soft well, believe it or not uh, with all the snow it's insulated and it's not really hard uh, but uh, I've got, I got some of the stuff to split but I think it would do a lot better if I had a little bit more solid of a surface behind it uh, I have to get it home and clean it up I got frozen dirt on the on it but it's still sharp I want to get some of that uh, bullion linseed oil and put a couple coats on the handle to better protect it. So, but, uh, well, I'm probably going to do a lot of editing with this video, so we're going to go ahead and stop it for now and 
get back to you when we got more interesting stuff to discuss. Real nice bed of coals going there, so if I wanted to uh, kick some of that wood to the side and do some direct heat uh, cooking, I could bring like a deer steak or something with me or roast and toss in there and cook it right up in no time, so. But, uh, there we go. All right. Should have had the video on for you um, a minute ago when I first took this off the fire. Well, I wasn't taking it off the fire. I was uh, first checking it. I, uh, just putting my hand over to check to see if it was boiling yet. I uh, my fenders got storched. Good thing for the snow, automatically uh, stuck my finger fingers into the snow and stopped the pain. Put that sit over there. Or want another cup or anything like that in the meantime, but. Uh, Snow Peak Titanium Mud, I know I said earlier where the wind was f coming from, it must have changed its mind because it's blowing in my face. I want to check my fingers. Stings a little, but we'll survive. See if I still spent too much for this cup. <laughs> ah, nice and hot. Let that cool. But uh, trying to get lighter gear, like I've been saying in a couple other my videos. But uh, I'm gonna stand up and get this smoke away from my face. Ah. Reposition myself here. The other day. Ghost Camo did a uh, short video in regards to uh, bushcrafting and videos people are putting on YouTube and how a lot of people uh, are armchair chair quarterbacks are telling you the right way of doing things but yet they're not putting any videos out there showing you their views and that uh, they're uh, starting fire in not uh, pristine conditions but it's dry as a bone out there. They're saying everything's soaked and waterlogged and et cetera, et cetera. I know my, I know he wasn't voicing this towards me, but uh, I'm just saying with my sort of videos, I'm doing everything right from the hip. Uh, no scripting. Uh, gonna have some editing done in this video. There's a few things I had to stop and uh, correct myself on talking or whatever, or got interrupted by something. So that'll be edited out, but uh, I'll even show the screw-ups I did putting up my tarp, you know. Uh, I'm not, like I said earlier, I'm not used to putting the tarp up this certain way. So we're going to keep doing it, though, this way until I get, a, get it down pat that I need to get it up in a hurry, get myself out of the weather. I can do so with my eyes closed, per se. But uh, I hope everyone's liking what they're seeing so far in my channel. Uh, if there's any suggestions you have out there that I can maybe improve or touch base on if I can I will uh, I can't go out and get equipment all the time to review I save up just like everyone else does uh, if I didn't get an income tax return I wouldn't have got that new backpack and this high dollar mug my wife reminds me about but uh, right now I'm trying to save up for a new vacuum sealer my uh, rival ones about bit the dust and I'm gonna buy a better brand now I'll spend a few extra bucks you get what you pay for but that rival rambling for now uh, unless something happens uh, between now and the
time we get out of here. Thank you all for subscribing and commenting. Take the time to look at uh, different people who have subscribed to my channels and vice versa. Check out their channel, see what they have in store. Uh, some of them pretty interesting. Some of them are, well, if you haven't seen Shud Emery by now, guys, you're missing the big hoot. And all, oh, check out Rich at, uh, oh, Richie, I'm sorry. I'm having a brain fart now, buddy. Green videos. Uh, the man from the Yukon, he's really good. And there's Mike from Bushcraft Bartons. I'm just naming a few guys. Take the time, check out their videos.